Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how you can use Power Automate to list all the folders from one document library and put this list into an Excel sheet. This was requested by one of my followers and let's get started. At first we'll create a new Excel sheet where we will save all the data. So we go here to new and then check Excel workbook and we'll rename this to all folders from this library. Then we'll need to create a table. First, we'll need two column names. We'll call the first column folder name and the second one will be folder link. Then we go to insert and choose table. We choose my table has headers and then click OK. We can edit the column width a bit and because we're here in the online version of Excel, this will be automatically saved. That's all we need for now and we can just close this. So then we go to Power Automate and we will create a new flow it can be an instant cloud flow. We just manually trigger this one and click on create. We'll name this list all folders into an Excel sheet. So let's get started. We'll create a new step. First, we'll need to create a list of all the folders in the document library. We'll click here on standard and choose SharePoint. And then we scroll down to get files properties only. We'll use the site address and then the library name. It's just a standard document, but of course, if you need it from another document library, you choose the, your option. And now filter query, this is very important. It will be FS object type equals one. I have created another video that uh, explains this filter a bit more. Um, you'll find the link below uh, in the comments or in the description of the video. This field here, top count, it actually says that if you leave it empty, it will show you all the files and folders it can find. Unfortunately, that is not always true with Power Automate. Sometimes it will only show you the first hundred it finds. If you need more, then you will need to push this to 4,999. Why is that 5,000 or more? It will just return an error. That is unfortunately the maximum we can get out of this. Now, if I get the result for this, then I will need to place the items in the Excel sheet. I'll create a new step. I choose Excel Online Business. And from this list, I will use add row into a table. Now I need to select the location of the file. This is in this case, again, my development site. It's in the documents library and then I can choose the file. So here's my all folders, all folders from this library. And then I will need to choose the table. And that's why we created the table first, because otherwise it cannot add the rows to that table. And as soon as I select the table, it will also give me the columns, the folder name and the folder link. Here, I will insert the full path. This will give me a little bit better description of the folder if it is in the parent folder as if I would just use the name 
because then I actually don't really see does it have a parent folder or how's the folder structure. Um, but of course, you can do it as you like. And as you've seen, as soon as I selected this value, it created an apply to each action here because the result I will get will be an array. So there will be many items to insert into the table. And that's why it uh, Power Ultimate automatically created this apply to each function. And of course, we need the link to. So we have here the link to item. And at last, we'll save this and test it. Takes a few seconds to save. Now we'll go to test, click manually, test, continue, and run flow. This will now take a few seconds because of the up apply to each function. It will always open the Excel file and then insert the uh, new row. Let's see, six seconds, eight seconds, and it's done. Let's go back to our Excel file. Here's the file, we'll open it again. Now you see only one one row has been inserted. It can take a few seconds. So if you close it and then open it again, ah, here it is. And as I said, the full path will give you the full path with the folder name. And if it has parent folders, like you can see here on uh, subfolder three and subfolder four and so on. And it will also give you the link to the item. Well, I hope I could help you. And if you have any further questions, just leave it in the comments or requests for new flows. Uh, just let me know. I hope you have a great day and goodbye.